And good afternoon. It is uh, finally past the noon hour today on Give to Kalb County Day. Uh, welcome back. My name is Alex Nirad, the executive director here at the beautiful Historic Egyptian Theater and excited to bring you our noon update. We are halfway through the day, 24 hours of giving on Give to Kalb County today. So uh, we are at currently $20,385 raised. Absolutely amazing. We have already surpassed our original goal of $20,000. Uh, so we have upped that goal to $25,000. And as uh, if you've been watching the last couple of hours, Janine has teased, uh, we'll have some more uh, kind of challenges uh, coming up this uh, afternoon. So uh, keep donating. We really appreciate it. You can donate till midnight tonight at lightscameradonate.org and uh, that'll take everything online for you. I uh, want to thank our recent donors in the last hour. A big thank you to Jane Higgins, Tracy Mobley, Linda Conrad, an anonymous donor, and Jane Fanukum. So thank you so much uh, to all of our donors that have given so far. In total, we've had 94 donors, uh, including all the dogs, cats, and turtle uh, that have donated so far. So remember, has your dog donated? Has your cat donated? Janine's looking for a hedgehog to donate. So uh, everyone can donate. Every donation matters uh, and is really important to helping uh, us continue the 90-year legacy of the Egyptian theater. So. This hour, a uh, special guest, uh, Janine and our very own Brandon, are going to sit down and chat uh, about everything Egyptian theater. So uh, let's go ahead and send it over to Janine in our interview studio. Thank you, Alex. And I am here with our very next special guest, our very own Events Services Director, Brandon Pugh. It's good to be here. So Events Services Director, can you... Flesh yeah. that out a bit. What do you do so, here at the Egyptian? As event services director, it, it encompasses uh, a lot of different things around the theater. So uh, from ordering concessions candy to making sure we're stocked with all of our Coke product uh, to when we have artists in house that, uh, you know, uh, need a meal. I'll provide their catered meal for them, book their lodging. Um, a whole other offshoot of what I do here, though, as volunteer coordinator is uh, recruit, train, and, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully retain those volunteers um, to help us work our shows and to help us continue to fulfill our mission. Absolutely. And you, uh, we have a lot of volunteers who say you are, quote, the best boss ever. So that's fantastic. Uh, so as a nonprofit, how... How heavily do we rely on volunteers? Yeah, so we are a staff of four full-time sta uh, members and two part-time, and then everyone else uh, from our ticket takers to the folks in concessions to our ushers are all volunteer. So, uh, you know, I say it all the time, but without our volunteers, we could not do what we do here at the Egyptian Theater. Um, I interned with the theater in 2015. We had about three shows at that time, and now we're to the point where we're presenting 12, 15, 18 shows a season, and we could not support that increased programming without the support of our volunteers. And they are absolutely fantastic. Anyone you're seeing from the ushers to the concession stand to the ticket takers are volunteers, and they don't just help with you know getting people in the door, but you've really worked on our safety training too with our volunteer squad. Yeah, so again, when I was interning in 2015, there was no sort of formal training. Um, and the safety aspect uh, was kind of lacking, but you know, that's what you get when there's limited staff and limited mm -hmm. resources. So I've been able to kind of streamline um, a training program for volunteers to go through. And uh, twice a year, we offer a safety and security training that we bring in volunteers, we bring in staff, we bring in our security. Um, and we do some mock evacuations around the theater. So uh, the safety and security, the, the well-being of our patrons is definitely uh, important to us. And uh, we couldn't do that without the volunteer buy-in. So to have buy-in from them with regards to safety and security is sometimes a difficult topic to tackle, but um, they're very supportive of it. Very much so. And so that's you know, the really hard nuts and bolts of how we get our volunteers to the level that they're at because they're a fantastic group of volunteers. And like you said, you've been here since 2015. So what have been some of your favorite memories with our volunteers? Hmm. The, the creation of the family aspect uh, surrounding volunteers is uh, very heartwarming. Uh, we are 
obviously very much in a uh, unique time <laughs> and uh, to have a birthday in this time period is a little different um, and actually had a handful of volunteers send birthday cards to my home address this year um, which just to me speaks volumes about the impact that I have on them. I don't want to sound hot-headed in this but I appreciate them and it shows that I, they appreciate me. Very much. And like you said, they're very giving. And have you seen our volunteer force really give on a day like Give to Kelp County? Yeah, so Give to Kelp County is a great day um, for volunteers to get involved, uh, not just with their uh, service, but uh, let's look at Give to Kelp County 2019, for example. Uh, last year, we raised funds for a new popcorn machine. Um, at the end of the day, volunteers had donated in and of themselves enough funding to be able to purchase not one, um, but two popcorn machines and a butter warmer uh, for the new expansion and concession. So uh, that's just a token again to how amazing our volunteers are. Uh, they afforded us along with the numerous other folks that donated last year, but uh, you know they alone were able to help us purchase the popcorn machine and this year, Alone with the carpet, I know I, we've been talking it up as staff. Uh, volunteers are super excited. We're super excited, and we've tried to uh, reinstill our excitement in the volunteers. And we're hoping that you know they're able to give back this year. So you seem to have really curated a family, you know, team atmosphere here with our volunteers. So if someone wanted to get involved and wanted to be mm -hmm. on that family, uh, yeah. how do they do that? Yeah, so um, as I mentioned, volunteers, we use them in, uh, in a few different ways, as ticket takers and in concessions or as ushers. Um, I will be offering at some <laughs> point again in the near future trainings twice a month um, for volunteers, potential volunteers to come in. Um, it's about an hour, hour and a half of your time that we do a building walkthrough and kind of touch briefly on uh, what the responsibilities are as a volunteer at the Egyptian Theater. Um, and then from that point on, once you've gone through that training, you can volunteer once, you can volunteer a hundred times. There is no minimum requirement. There's no maximum requirement. Um, so you just go through that the one-time training and then uh, once a year there is a required safety and security training but again that's just so that we as a venue can stay on top of things but um, so stay tuned for training dates in the <laughs> uh, in the coming months but that's uh, that's how you get involved as well as on our website there's information about volunteering so uh, I believe it's under the support tab mm -hmm. on our website Perfect, and so if someone wants to get involved today, we are in the middle of a 24 hour uh, day of giving, why should someone support, you know, carpeting? <laughs> why should someone support the Egyptian theater? Yeah, you know, um, it's not just at the end of the day about the carpet, it's, it's about the, the, the entire project and what the project means for the community. Um, I think volunteers get and understand that the Egyptian theater is here to help the community. Um, we are a community theater and uh, the volunteer buy-in for days like today. I don't know where I'm going with this. Thanks Ralph for cutting it out. Um, I'll give you cookies. But can we start this question over? Yes. I don't think I have to restate the question, right? I think Ralph can just cut to it. Unless you can just restate it. Yeah. Hey Ralph. So. So if someone doesn't have to just give, you know, with volunteer hours, they could give, you know, today we're in a 24 hour day of giving. So why should someone support the Egyptian theater, whether it's through volunteer hours or today via donations? Yeah, so the Give to Kelp County is a great way to support on days when you can't physically be giving your service. Um, you know, it, this goes beyond the, the just the carpet aspect. It's the entire project and tying this carpet into um, the project is huge. The impact that we're gonna be able to have on the community um, is huge. And, you know, volunteers, as much as we as staff love welcoming over 40,000 people to our theater a year, volunteers enjoy it just as much. And through their donation on a day like today allows us the opportunity um, to continue our programming, um, you know, for another 90 years. Very exciting and thank you for joining us. We're already, I know you're already here, but really excited to hear about the volunteer uh, opportunities and how dedicated 
and family like you have really made our volunteers. So thank you for joining us, Brandon. We will be back at the top of the next hour with the next special guest. But for now, we'll throw it back to the studio to Alex. Thank you so much, Janine and Brandon, uh, some of our great staff here. Uh, and of course, we absolutely love our volunteers. It's been absolutely amazing to see so many of our volunteers out there today donating on Give to Calb County Day. We are so thankful for your support and everybody else's support. Uh, Obviously, we want uh, people to keep donating today, uh, but the other ways you can help us out so far with our uh, videos we've been doing today, we've had over a thousand views total, which is absolutely amazing. So you can help us out by sharing those videos on Facebook, liking them, uh, going to our Instagram page, Twitter, uh, sharing that and uh, making sure all of your friends and family know uh, what's going on today. Uh, so our Update, we're at $20,410. We've had another donation come in from Rachel Exitus. Uh, so thank you so much for everybody that's donated so far today. Remember, you can donate online till midnight tonight at lightscameradonate.org. And uh, we will be back here at the top of the very next hour with our next interview. So we'll see you then.